Hey, I'm Michael Dooney, and I'm here with Richard Warner. And I want to ask you, Richard, what inspires you? Ooh. Whether it's film, well, art, music, um, whatever. Let me go back and say what, what has brought me to this place, because you obviously can, continually inspired. Uh, and think about some of my earliest inspirations. Um, uh, one was this. Uh, there's an, an actor, uh, a phenomenal actor named Paul Schofield. I don't know if I'm sure you know him or not. He was, he's mostly, did some film, but he was mostly a um, stage actor. And my mom took me to uh, Man for All Seasons when I was very, very young. And it was the first time I saw a, a Broadway show, mm. an actor of this magnitude. And it's, 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 it, I still can feel the, the presence of this man. Mm. And I remember thinking to myself, Michael, um, I didn't know human beings could do what he was doing. Mm. It was like a phenomenal experience for me. And to this day, probably is one of the things that fascinated my young mind and so maybe might, might have led me in that direction. So that's an early memory. Do you have an early memory? Something that really just wham, it sort of. Yeah, it, yeah, my, uh, my early memories of, of kind of inspiration when I started feeling those creative juices flowing was, uh, I grew up on Led Zeppelin and Motown. Oh, yeah. And, um, yeah. a, a little bit of, of classical, but um, yeah, I, went, I wanted to, I wanted to rock and roll, you know, I was ready. That's, that's probably the earliest. Uh, and you know, I'm glad you say that because my journey was very similar. It was in music first mm -hmm. before I, I really found my way in this direction mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. So remember, I, I, uh, I was going to, uh, in the 60s, I was in college. So we're talking about Crosby, Stills, and Nash, and, and Santana, and, and that rich, rich, rich period, yeah, uh, yeah. Grateful mm -hmm. Dead. And so uh, the spectacle that I was involved in was going to concerts to see these phenomenal artists mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and doing this really spontaneous, alive stuff was really a part of, I think, really part of the influences at that time, too. It's interesting, we both took that same journey. Uh, early films, uh, I think our film, filmmakers, well certainly, boy, I think everybody, and you see these on this, uh, a tremendous uh, impact on my life was Steven Spielberg. When I think about the films from E.T. and you know, just think about it, what the films and, and how, what they meant to be and uh, how I was inspired by them. So he was, he, clearly the way he tells a story was something that uh, totally appealed to me all the way through my life. I don't, I don't know if you have a filmmaker that does that too, but yes. he's one for me for sure. Absolutely. I, I would say my, my parallel to that um, is, is probably a, a Stanley Kubrick, yeah. specifically from um, the tone that yeah. he's able to capture. It's uh, something to be studied constantly. Yeah. And then for me, performers and, and performances, one I remember with you know, it has a tracer, you know, they have tracer effect, and I can still have sort of a, mem a sensory emotional memories of, is the first time I saw Deer Hunter. Mm. Deer Hunter was a film that just sort of rocked me. Um, Absolutely. Never seen in New York City, and not saying much at all with, to, a, to a, my wife. We were just quiet, and we just walked around New York City for about two hours. It really deeply affected us wow. at the time. So that's when I really, really remember, and it's everybody's work in that. Yes. All those young, soon-to-be major stars. Right. Uh, and, a, and I thought a really beautiful film. So I remember that one being definitely one that got, got to me. And I think everybody out there has one or two that are, that are like that. Absolutely. That really, really has moved you and stays with you, you know, a performance that does that. Um, so for me, uh, early in my career, uh, it, it was Paul Newman. It was the person that I sort of idolized. And, and I, it's the big H's, right? Ombre, HUD, and Hustler were the three shows and movies that I, I remember watching a, a number of times. You know, I still have them in my library. Uh, and they still hold up, they're still beautiful. And then you went to Sundance Kid, and, mm. You know, there's a whole bunch of the sting, a whole bunch of them there. So, yeah, uh, films. Any other films for you? Yeah. So I'm I'm thinking of uh, a, a modern, I guess, more modern example. Um, as you know, we've talked about this a lot. I love that gray area. Yeah, I love the, yeah. the, the area between the cracks that's really hard to talk about. Yeah, and yeah. a film that that probably affected me the most in in the last, I guess, five years uh, was the film Whiplash. Uh, Phenomenal film. It, it walked that tricky line between uh, abuse, physical and verbal, and kind of greatness. And, and it, it showed how close they were, and it was constantly 
flip-flopping between the two and walking that line. And I think that's just an incredibly uh, difficult but important thing that film can capture given an audiovisual medium. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the, the, the genesis of that film is pretty remarkable yes. too. And of course, what an impeccable performance. Yeah. Just, uh, oh and the fun thing about that for an actor is there, there's an actor who's done nothing but great work and he finally got something that he, it was like his. Yes. And look what he did with it. Yes. So that's an inspiration for all of us. You know, yeah. He's been a good seasoned actor. He's been supporting a lot of, uh, you see his face everywhere, but it adds even, and bam, there he goes. Absolutely. So that was, that's fun, too. Um, you know, you got the biggies, but I'm talking about uh, people on the, uh, the, right now, the person I'm really watching right now is, is Tom Hardy. I mm -hmm. just really like that. I think that man is pushing the border of, uh, of film. He's creating uh, role after role that I just really, truly impressed me for craft and as well as uh, what he does emotionally. I just like his work a lot. It's, yeah. I think my, my parallel is, uh, it, it sounds silly because it's a very commercial film, but um, if you watch the motion capture raw footage of Benedict Cumberbatch as Smog in oh. the Hobbit movies, yeah. it just his insane commitment to yeah. the character and uh, he, how he's modulated his voice to, so they really didn't have to do too much to it and how his physicality is embodying it and it's just a commitment and I, and I, I, I love seeing that and using it as an example when, when you see an actor truly committing to something and it's recognizable by everyone. I, I think he's a phenomenal actor. It flies across the screen into, in, into the audience. Yeah, Absolutely. Well that was fun. Yeah. Simple inspiration. <laughs>